I grew up in Counts Bluffs, Iowa, in a Jewish family. My dad had a mantra. Jesus Christ is the biggest hoax ever perpetrated on mankind. Christians are idiots for having hope. Your life has less significance than the smallest speck of dust in this infinite universe. We were in an accident where another horse ran into my horse. She reared up, flipped over backwards with me on her back, and fell across my body. As she hit my chest, I immediately left my body. I was up 30, 40 feet in the air. I just left. I knew I was dead. And as I was up there, I noticed that even though it was a cloudy day, this light was shining over my shoulders. There was a light over my shoulders, and it was illuminating everything in front of me. And I realized there was a person standing right there. And he moved forward, and he was standing. We were up in the air, but we were standing. And uh, he is standing right next to me, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and it's like, oh, Jesus, oh, hey. <laughs> it's like, how you doing? I knew that I had known him my entire life. It was not a surprise. I was not shocked. I was not thinking, what is a nice Jewish girl like me seeing Jesus? Why am I seeing Jesus? No, I knew this man. I knew him. And um, he, he was smiling at me. We were talking, but I mean, it's not like my mouth was moving, but I know we were talking. And he very quickly showed me my life. I didn't have a whole lot to see because really and truly I was a good kid. And he, he uh, I saw him from the time I was formed in my mother's womb, he had been with me. He had always been with me, all my life. And um, you know, just when I used to talk to God at night when I was a little kid, he'd been there, that he'd been there sitting by my bed. I saw that. After this life review, and I was no longer really looking at the ground, he took my hand and we flew. We surfed. We, I didn't go through a tunnel. A lot of people, I've heard people say they go, went through a tunnel. No tunnel. It was like we had this wave of light under our feet, and I know my feet were bare because I could feel the wave of light under my feet. And it was pushing us forward, and we were holding hands and flying like Superman and Lois Lane. So faster and faster and faster, I saw a light. And it was getting closer and closer, and it was, it's a living light. And it's the brightest thing you can imagine, but I could look at it. And you would think it would burn you, but it doesn't. It's perfect. It's blemishless. And it takes up, that light took up my entire field of vision. It was infinite in its scope, but it was alive. And that light was love. And Jesus took me directly into the light. And the next thing I knew, I find, found myself sitting on God's lap. And I have a granddaughter, a two-year-old granddaughter. And you know, if she needs comforting or she wants to be held, she, she'll sit on my lap and bury her, her face in my chest and I'll put my arms around her and she'll, she'll have her arms around me. That's what I was doing. I was like a little kid. I was sitting on God's lap and I buried my face against his chest and I put my arms around him and he had his arms around me and I never, ever wanted to leave. I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to sit there forever and be held by God. And it's, I can't explain how God can be a light and God can be a man and God can be love. I, I can't explain it. I can't. But that's what I experienced.